everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got another little project here. I'm just gonna be putting an hour meter on my air compressor. And it's a little cheap one. I got it off of Amazon. It's mechanical. It's by a company called uh, Quartz. And all you do is you just hook it up uh, with a couple of terminals here that are supplied. I'll probably end up using my own because these ones seem kind of cheap. Now heat, shr heat, heat shrink them and all that. Uh, comes with instructions. And all you gotta do is just uh, remove this little bracket here, the retaining bracket. Cut your hole inside your electrical box here. Pop it through, pop the bracket back on and then wire it up. And then every time the compressor kicks on, it starts recording hours. And then that way I can keep track of the maintenance on the machine and make sure that it's taken care of. So, but before I get into that, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That way you guys are notified of future updates. You can come on back, check out what I got going on. So, all right guys, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and pop off this electrical box cover. There's not a ton of room, but you know, as you can see, you got your your area to where you uh, can potentially put it in. So I don't know if I could pop it in here or not. Maybe do something with this. So that's definitely something I'm going to look into for sure. So I don't know if I could maybe pop this out on the bottom. It would be pretty cool if I could do that. Actually, let me hang this up real quick. And this thing is just being a bugger. There we go. All right, so that seems a little too... I don't even know what this part's for. <laughs> so that's how far it'll stick in. Get all these stickers in the way. Or up here. Be nice if I could move this decal. Maybe I'll move this. Unless I put it to the right of that. But then there's this one. Are you serious? I'm going to go with this one. That looks good to me. Never know what even came off. It's like that. Have the hour meter up there. See if I can get some of this glue off real quick. All right. I don't know if it gives a template for this or not. That would be nice. I guess it won't be that. Well, it tells you the, the dimensions, which is good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this over to the bench and I'm gonna punch some marks and then uh, drill some holes and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut through this stuff. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, draw my line first. Let me um, measure this out. All right, so I'm just going to grab my calipers here. Cheapo digital ones. All right, so that should work. Then I'm going to use my carbide tip scratch all here. I like to make a point and then that way I know exactly where 
I started from. I want to be. So I'm just going to scribe a line here. And then I need to go down. Little handy dandy elect uh, digital one. Turn it on. Loosen it up. Set it to ninety. Thirty six point eight four, I think, is where we were at. I feel like this magic marker is going to throw me off. There, I might just take a cutoff wheel and zing through those, and then I can file any of the rest of it down. Okay, so I think I decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and drill a bigger hole in the middle of this, and then I can fit a little reciprocating saw blade through. And this is a metal blade, so. My little Ryobi. You always want to make sure when you're putting the blades in that you don't have the battery in. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was looking for is that little click. so we got our hole cut now let's get our file out I have a couple files that I typically will go to and uh, I found that this square file has many uses <laughs> I also have a round one and a few of these flat ones here so Not bad. Let's blow all the dust out of this thing. All right, so we should just be able to pop this through there and put our bracket on the back. Just like that. Almost looks like it's supposed to be there. All right, so let's get the wiring set up. Okay, so while it was running, I tested these couple leads here, and they were registering at 240 volts. Now they're not. So that one, those are. Okay, so 
these two leads. So those are not really showing anything right there. But when it kicks on, the 240 volt supply starts with those and goes to the motor. So those are what you're gonna wanna connect up the hour meter to. Okay, we're gonna get our wires prepped and ready to go. First thing to do though is turn the power off at the breaker or unplug the unit. So in this case, what I did is I shut the breaker off. So let's make sure we don't have power. And we're at zero, we're not getting anything anywhere. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so we're just gonna make some power wires here. Got a couple different types of connectors. I'm gonna use this on the actual machine itself. That way I can just plug in a couple of these. But we're going to need the others out of the box. So I think I am just gonna use these, may as well. Oh, they got little shields over them. That's pretty cool. Groovy. Grab a little bit of heat shrink. Cut this into four equal parts. Roughly. And when I cut the ends of the sheath off, I like to twist the copper. That way it adds a little bit of extra bite. And these doesn't, this doesn't typically slide over this fat end very easily. So I just take a little bit of, take a little, take the pliers and spread it apart. Careful because it will rip. So just like that. There's one. Oh, well, you know what I didn't do? Oops. Got too excited. Son of a gun. Stretch this side out again. And there we go. The only thing else I got to do is put this on the other connector on the machine. So let's go over there. All right, now we're back in the machine here. Just going to go ahead and unplug this. shrink and I don't think it matters what polarity they're hooked up in so as long as they're hooked up
There's two. Tie these off a little bit. All right, last step, we're just going to go ahead and plug these two guys in. Uh, let's go ahead and let some air out of the machine and then we'll go ahead and let it kick on and see if it registers. Well, it definitely looks like it went up a little bit. Obviously, those are one-tenths of an hour. Excuse me. So six minutes it would take for each of those numbers to pass. pass. Let's pop it open, see if there's any warm wires. Nope. Awesome. Last thing to do is to go ahead and reinstall the secure screw. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it useful. Like I said, it's just another simple little project to help you maintain your machines. It only takes a few minutes to do, depending on how big of a stickler you are as far as uh, quality of install. So, but you definitely want to make sure that you do it right, especially the wiring. You want to make sure you got your heat shrink. There's no nicks. Everything's good to go and secure. The stuff does vibrate. So you don't want, want anything coming loose and causing some type of short, which can cause a fire. So if you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell and make sure you come on back to the channel, check out what we got going on. So we'll see you in the next video. So take care and God bless.